Today we're taking a look into the world of home media servers. I've been wanting to build a home media server for years. I also want to streamline and archive some old video content with a level of redundancy. And after some research, I decided a network attack storage or NAS was the way to go. I was playing around with some old hardware I had from a previous computer build, and this made me want to eventually build my own server for more power and energy efficiency, but Asister was kind enough to send over their drive store to Lite for me to get started. Stick around as I unbox, set up, and give you my first impressions of this neat little device. As we open the box, we're greeted with the Drive Store 2 Lite itself, power adapter, ethernet cable, and some quick start guides. First impressions, it's compact, looks pretty sleek, and I'll be pairing this with two Western Digital UltraStar DC 12 terabyte hard drives for storage. These drives are known for their reliability, so I'm excited to see how they'll perform and their sound levels in this setup. The reason why I bring up sound levels is these enterprise grade drives actually produce a lot of noise. So it was something I was conscientious of as I have two Seagate Ecos 20 terabyte drives that I was originally gonna put in here, but they're pretty loud. But let's dive into some of the technical specs since we're talking about this. The DriveStore 2 Lite runs on a Realtek RTD 1296 quad core processor and comes with one gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. Something that I didn't think would be enough for a dedicated home server, but to my surprise, it could handle it with no issues. It has a one gigabit ethernet port, read and write speeds of 113 megabytes on a one RAID setup. This two bay NAS supports up to 22 terabytes per drive, wake on LAN. One feature I'm really looking forward to testing is the BATRFS file system, something that I don't actually have any experience with, but it offers robust snapshots of data protection Setting up the Drive Store 2 Lite was a breeze. Installing the hard drives was straightforward thanks to the tool-free design. Getting it connected to my network and running the initial setup through the Asus Star Control Center was seamless. I was actually really surprised at how easy it was. And I think if you're somebody new getting started with this sort of thing, it's perfect for, for you. It is pretty straightforward. I had no issues. I configured it with a RAID 1 setup for redundancy, ensuring that my data stays protected and safe in case one of the drives fails. I got the NAS up and running as a Plex media server and it handles streaming like a champ. The read write speeds of 113 megabytes on RAID 1 means my media loads quickly and smoothly. Beyond Plex, I'm exploring its potential for network storage and I'm considering setting up VMwares and Docker containers in the future. So far, the Drive Store 2 Lite has impressed me. It's a solid entry-level NAS that's fulfilling my immediate needs for media streaming and data redundancy. While it's part of my journey towards a more dedicated server setup, it's providing an excellent solution for now. Its performance and ease of use makes it a great option for anyone looking to start their home media server or network attached storage. Overall, I think that this is perfect for somebody else. I think that my needs are gonna expand beyond this pretty quickly, but for the time being, I'm happy with it. And thank you Asus Store for sending me this. Uh, it allowed me to kind of just dive into this sort of platform and see what it all takes. And I think if you want to save the money compared to Synology NAS or the cost of building your own, I think that this offers a great way to get started with that. But that wraps up my first look at the Asus Store Drive Store 2. If you're considering setting up a home media server, this NAS could be a great starting point. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in picking one up, check out the description for links. Overall, this host process has been a blast. I actually learned a lot. It has brought me back into the world of digital computing and allowed me to do more research on some more advanced home needs. Something I'm surprised I didn't look at sooner. I also wanna redo my digital footprint and change some of my home network. And I think that this was a great starting point to help me get looking into this sort of thing. I think I'll also experiment with some sort of a Linux distribution. I apologize if you're watching this video after subscribing for Legos, but I think I'm gonna to continue to do more Lego videos, but overall expect just other quality of life videos and other videos related to technology. It's something that I'm always passionate about. And if you're actually old to my channel, you realize that I transitioned into the Lego thing. 
But uh, I just wanna appreciate you for even sticking around and watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the not bell notification for more tech reviews and tutorials. If uh, Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys and uh, the audience. You guys means everything to me. I appreciate you coming out here, clicking this video and watching. If there's anything else you have questions, comments, or concerns about, leave them in the comments. I wanna hear for you. If you wanna leave hate, that's cool too. I appreciate that. It helps guide me into certain directions as well. Just thanks for watching.